Hey everyone, today for my final tech challenge of November, I'm create a, creating a Blazor WebAssembly app. Um, what's cool about Blazor is that you can write C Sharp code that executes in the web. So, that's pretty cool because you can share code between the server side and the client side, and also if you're very familiar with C-sharp, you get to use all the language features that you know and love. So creating the Blazor WebAssembly app, this is what you get by default, a few pages as examples. Um, this one here is loading some um, static data from a weather.json file. And I'm going to be showing how to turn that into calling a web API. But let's run this first just to see what we're starting with. So once that runs, it loads up uh, the Blazor WebAssembly app. And these are the pages. And this is the one that I'm going to be changing. So I'm wanting to um, add a couple of projects to my solution. So the first one's going to be a API, which I will call to get um, weather forecasts. That means I could have dynamic weather forecasts if I actually completed my API, but I won't for today. So you can see I've got this weatherforecast.cs file there. That's the same as um, the one in my Blazor front end. So I want to create a run configuration that will run both my Blazor and Blazor API projects, so I don't need to start with both each time individually. And I also want to add a new project as a .NET standard library, um, and this will have my model of weather forecast because that's code shared between the Blazor and Blazor API projects. So I'm just going to rename this to weather forecast and copy and paste the model from the Blazor API. I'll delete the one in Blazor API because I'm going to use my Blazor common weather forecast model. So I need to add a dependency to um, the Blazor Common library they've just created so I can reference the weather forecast. So if I go to the controller where it's used, you can see that weather forecast isn't found. I can just import the um, Blazor Common and it all should run. I want to do the same in my pages. I want to go to my weather forecast page. And I want to um, import that blazer common. I've just realized I've, um, I actually haven't um, added the dependency yet. So I'm adding that reference now. Sorry for the background noise today. Cool, so now that I've imported that, if I go down, weather forecast has been recognized and I can delete that. 
So next up, I actually, oh, I'll just run it quickly just to show that everything's still working after my changes. This is still loading from the static um, JSON file at the moment. Cool, so my API is working and if I just go to my Blazor app, yep, my weather forecast data is still loading so I haven't broken anything. Next up I want to change to using um, the API that I've just created. So I want to change to calling the API. And then for my forecast, I want to get that from the response message. So this um, HTTP client has been injected and it's actually come from, the setup has come from the program.cs and it's using this base address. So I want to change that to be the base address of my API endpoint. So now that I've changed that, I can run and call the API from my Blazor app. So it's failed for some reason, so I'm just having a look at why. And the console's saying that cause is disabled, cross origin resource. Um, so, okay, to fix that, you can enable that, and I'm just going to Google how because I always forget. So to your API, you add um, the following code. When you're configuring your services, you add a policy that specifies what websites can call your API. And give your policy a name. I'm just calling my my policy. The name doesn't really matter too much. And I want to allow my um, Blazor web app, which is on port 5001 localhost, to call it. So that's what I'm configuring there. And then you want to um, enable the cause. So you, I think you go, yeah, use cause, and then you give the policy name. So my policy. 
Cool. Once that's done, you should be able to run it and hopefully it will load. There you go. I've um, got shared code between my Blazor WebAssembly app and my um, server side. All of this is on GitHub, so check it out when you're free.